Hey, what's going on, crypto people? It is the Crypto Siege with another day in the life and the crazy life that is the digital asset space. Happy Sunday to you. The market is doing what the market does. I stream number two. No more Bitcoin on the exchanges. You ever thought about that? <laughs> what are they going to trade with if there's no more Bitcoin on the exchanges? Interesting. Let me see something. Very, very interesting. There's no more BTC on exchanges. What would one do Let's see if I do this. Let me see if I can change something for you guys. change the latency on this thing but it looks like I gotta change it prior to huh hmm. I guess I gotta change it prior to going live I don't know anyway I wanted to change that for you guys happy Sunday what happens when there's no more BTC on the exchanges is all bought up? What do you trade with? I think that's a great question. And the XRP ledger is just monster. I'm gonna get into that. All right, let's do this. ACC March, ACC and March Mass in this Madness is upon us. Not so much for me. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get into it. Again, happy Sunday to you. Yeah, video live stream number two. We're going to try a new try a new kind of thing, a new strategy, if you will, uh, for, for the live. See what happens when we do that. And we got to get back to doing our thumbnails. We don't do our thumbnails any longer. And I'm sure that's affecting some stuff. So what is going on, my friends? Good to see you. Happy, happy Sunday. Ramundo, just being me. What's up, my brother? We're just holding around here. We're like airplanes and an airport circling, waiting for that XRP to climb. Yes, indeed. Indeed. I know all about that, my friend. I know all about that. Appreciate you being here today. What's going on for shot, Rahani? What's up with you, bro? All in good. All is good here for sure. XRP number one is in the building. Good to see you. Mark P. Will the Bitcoin money pour into XRP if the SEC comes out favorable? Yes. I believe so, Mark P. I believe that just happens in any bull market. It flows out of Bitcoin and goes into the alts. Sky Sky Dive for Life is here. You did the flare. Uh, I did. Um, what do we got going on here? Ramundo Eats next up. Yeah, Third Eye Explosion is here. What's up, Siege? What's up with you, Third Eye Explosion? Josh is here, XRP holders in, in, in Layaway. <laughs> Indeed. So, guys, yeah, I was thinking about that. I saw a tweet. I'm going to share that tweet. What happens when, you know, everybody's buying Bitcoin, right? Everybody's buying Bitcoin. What would happen if the Bitcoin dried up? What trading pair would they use? Interesting thought. 
A Sunday twofer, says 460 Cripple. Yep, indeed. San Antonio's in the building. What's going on, J uh, Crypto underscore JS? Good to see you. Indeed, let's do this. Mark P is here. How are you, Mark? Good to see you. So, yeah, just some interesting food for thought. And uh, shout out to Anders L that shared um, the Ripple Swell uh, event. And who's going to be attending? Man, some very, very impressive. It's a very, very impressive lineup. Uh, to say the least, at a, what is it, blockchain infrastructure companies event, a blockchain infrastructure companies event, Ripple Swell, because that's what Ripple is, they're a blockchain infrastructure company. Interesting to see the people attending <laughs> their event. <laughs> very, very interesting. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed that last live stream. I hope you checked the one I did earlier today. If you haven't checked that, you want to check it out. Be careful who you listen to in crypto and in business and understand the game that you're in. You want to go check that video out. You definitely want to check that out without question, straight fire. You want to get the bigger picture and the bigger message. So, if you didn't do that, Definitely go do that. You can follow me on Twitter at crypto underscore siege. If you like hanging out on Twitter, crypto underscore siege. For sure, if you can check us out there without question. Looking, really going to look into getting to this NFTs. I'm going to cover a little bit about that today on this video. Uh, but boy, oh boy, it, it is taking off like a crazy uh, $6.6 .6 million, 10 second video clip. Goes for $6.6 .6 million. Unbelievable. That's just unbelievable. 10, 10 seconds, not minutes. 10 second video clip. Interesting, interesting stuff. Yeah, so me and Mitch Crypto Seas are going to dedicate some time today uh, to learning uh, all about these NFTs as much as we possibly can and look into it and see if we can't somehow get creative. Digital arts, sports moments. Um, open C, something called Rarible as a site, all these things we're going to look into and uh, learn, and then we'll bring it to you guys as well. But yeah, I'm going to learn about it. What's going on, Crawfish? Good to see you, bro. See what's going on with these NFTs. Uh, you know, can just kind of see what's going on, you know, see where it is, what's it doing. Much love, Siege from Arizona. John Doe, how about that? Much love to you, my friend. Checking in from Arizona, says John Doe. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Interesting stuff. Greetings from Brazil. Oh, Nicodemus Lopez. Greetings from Brazil. XRP to the moon. Love it. The people in Brazil and South America, Central America, are in the digital asset space. Welcome to the channel, Nicodemus. Spread the word about this channel. We need more of us in this space, my friend. We need more of the average Joe and the average Jane in the digital asset space. Spread the channel. Let them know about the crypto siege. So we can get the word out and remind them that the digital asset space is their chance to win. It is their chance to win. So let me see something here. Oh, that's good. That is all good there, guys. So let's go over a couple of things that I wanted to share with you guys. This is going to be short and sweet to the point. I wanted to talk to you guys about Ripple's technology and XRPL ledger, but it also talks about the NFTs. So I think that is important to note here. Uh, let me see who shared this. NFT art is all about the hype. The art market is uniquely suited to draw attention to non-fungible tokens and the technology behind them. Now, it's a couple of people who shared this. I want to make sure. I think uh, XRP bully... Um, is that the same one? That's Bloomberg. Is this Bloomberg? Yeah. So XRP Bully, shout out to my dude, XRP Bully. This is why the XRP ledger is revolutionary. This is a Bloomberg's opinion article states. There are powerful reasons why blockchain tech hasn't captured the world yet. Despite its obvious allure, it has issues with scalability, security, transaction speed, in cost. And the XRB pulley correctly stated, this is why the XRP ledger 
is revolutionary, right? Interestingly enough, they're talking about NFT in this particular article, talking about the NFT market. A publicly available 10 second video clip for 6.6 .6 million and another digital work by the same artist. Similarly impossible to take out of free circulation about to sell for millions of dollars at Christie's question mark, a clip of LeBron James slam dunk for $200,000. If you can't believe it, okay, boomer, the non fungible token phenomenon. <laughs> it's for real. But let's be clear, the multi-million dollar hype around it isn't necessarily revolutionary art, the collectibles industry or the concept of property. More likely a specific community whose members have amassed fortunes thanks to crypto windfalls or those who are trying to get into the game uh, is spending some of this wealth to advertise the blockchain technology so that the money rain never stops. And certain NFT applications are indeed worth attention, even if those applications aren't necessarily the ones in the news these days. And so I, again, for us, we're learning the NFT game. We're gonna to start today. Um, all I know is about a site called OpenSea and a site called Rarible. Uh, hadn't, hadn't heard of Christie's until today. And NFT's meaning is the registration of a digital object's ownership on a blockchain. The token is non-fungible because it represents a unique object and is itself unique. It makes the most traditional sense in the digital gaming world where characters and other properties can't be used by those who haven't bought them and where money can be made. For example, by owning a virtual racetrack for which race participants pay rent. Now, surprisingly, the biggest NFT market is in such game-related items. When it comes to a digital collage or memorable sports moment, the sale and purchase of an NFT involving it don't prevent the object from being viewed or shared freely by non-owners. Think of it as a geeky implementation of bragging rights or a way to channel financial support from fans to artists or athletes or anyone doing anything admirable from the fans point of view, right? The cryptocurrency and blockchain community, however, is hardly communist or even altruistic in nature. It's built around making money, sometimes literally, big, think Bitcoin mining. It's, it's, well being, it's well being depends on driving the adoption of blockchain apps and that requires constant hype. The art market is uniquely suited to, provide, to providing that hype. Big sales generate lots of covers, especially both journalists and their readers Wonder why anyone would pay so much money for something that's simply not worth it to most. So far, the cumulative volume of crypto art sales is estimated at 193 million. That money has bought NFT invaluable publicity in US media ranging from tech websites to TV networks, okay? So tokens could be used to sell digital wildlife, to fund conservation efforts, or they could be employed to track entire supply chains from their origins to the end consumer, making the value creation process, process transparent. But what I wanted to reach you guys, uh, there, there, there are powerful reasons why blockchain technology hasn't captured the world yet, despite its obvious allure. It has, issues with scalability, issues with security, issues with transaction speed and cost. And what did we just find out about the XRP ledger? Yeah, we, that you can be able to build NFTs on there, right? We say when, put out that proposal, the XRP ledger has, can scale has security, has transaction speed, and is inexpensive. See what I'm going, guys? This new marketplace that's opening up with the NFTs and the XRP ledger, because it is so nimble, and you can pivot in any direction and, and compete in a market space, right? 
compete in a market space right now. That's, you know, it's Ethereum right now for these NFTs. But what about a, the XRP ledger that can scale? What, what's the promise then for NFTs once they hit the XRP ledger? You see what I'm saying? So for me and us in the crypto season home, we want to learn these NFTs now, figure out how to make them, how to create them, what does it look like? And then perhaps begin to apply those to the XRP ledger, get one given the opportunity to do so. So this is what I'm saying. The XRP ledger is just an absolute game changer. So I loved that uh, this was brought up about blockchains technology and why it hasn't had the worldwide allure or adoption yet. It's pointing to issues that the XRP ledger has already addressed. Scalability, security, transaction speed, and cost already covered it. So when we think that ledger, don't just think payments, don't just think cross border. Don't think, don't just think CBDCs. <laughs> I th you know, this is one of the reasons why they say all the money. This is why they say all the money. Think about that. Hi, uh, is that Hadis underscore, Hadis underscore Ace. Thank you for your work, sir. Crypto Seeds, well, thank you, my friend. I appreciate you being here. Jungle Inc. is in the building. What's going on, Jungle? Good to see you. You know, I saw your video. I didn't get a chance to watch it, but it looks like a very interesting interview with Oz Crypto. But how powerful is that, guys? You know, the XRP ledger at any moment in time can just, it's so nimble. It's so adaptable. It's so, you know, um, what's the word? Elastic, if you will. It can it can pivot and, and and be applied in any marketplace. And I wanted to bring up the NFTs because this is the craze right now. And now we get the word about NFTs being able to be created on the XRP ledger. For Shot Rahani, thank you so much for the super sticker, my friend. I appreciate that big time. I always appreciate you supporting the channel. I see you support the. CKJ a lot of times as well. That is an awesome deal, my friend. So I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Right? That's the power of the ledger. That is the power of the ledger, my friends. Right? And, you know, we're going to talk about this because the guy, on, uh, I don't know if it was Anders L. But I just want you to think about that, guys. Don't just think the XRP ledger is for payments. Don't. Don't put us in that box. I mean, the XRP ledger is massive. It's nimble. It's, it can adapt and pivot and go in any direction. And so I'm pretty sure that I don't, uh, we say when, they say when put up a proposal. I don't know if it's done, but that's what they're looking to do, right? Um, NFTs on the XRP ledger not having to deal with scalability issues, not having to deal with security issues, right? Not having to deal with those issues, uh, the cost issue, the transaction um, the speeds, not having to deal with any of those issues. Just think about that. <laughs> that it's That's massive. For sure, I thank you again, my friend. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, bro. I appreciate that, right? <laughs> I should have changed that latency there. I know this thing is dragging behind in terms of uh, us, us communicating. Crypto underscore JS says, smash that like for a Sunday fun day. Let's see, you know, you appreciate him and his channel. Well, thank you. Thank you, Crypto underscore JS. I appreciate that. XRP big move very soon. Very, very soon. The question is, are we going to get that BTC below 40,000 or not? That's the question. I'm planning on that. And are we gonna get the XRP below 40 cents? That's the question. I'm planning on that as well. Greenman goodies, what's going on? Patience is a virtue, indeed it is. But you guys, do, do you see what I'm saying about the XRP ledger? Don't just think payments and 
it, it can go in any direction that it needs to. I don't know how far along in that proposal for the NFTs on the ledger, how far along that has gotten, but the fact that it's possible is absolutely major. And I, don't, I, th I think Crypto Eddie, you know, I want to say that she said that, you know, it's kind of, you know, it's a done deal in terms of being able to do it, but I thought it was like a proposal. JB, howdy, Siege. Hope all is well. What's going on, bro? Good to see you, JB. Everything is all, man. Hope everything is well. Hope everything is great with you, my friend. Right? So the ledger and NFTs, think about that possibility, guys. We already got Flare Networks building on the ledger. And I believe Sologenics is uh, building on the ledger. But don't just think payments. The ledger is just a behemoth. It's a monster. It's a monster. Now the the kind of the thought of the day is there is there is there a chance that there would be no Bitcoin trading as an available trading pair on exchanges because it's all bought up? I'm wondering. Is that a possibility? Let me find this next thing while we think about that. I want to share something that Anders L shared on the on the keynote speakers. So, okay, I thought these were the attendees. So these are actually keynote speakers at the Ripple Swell event in 2020. So this happened already. And you went, yeah, huh? All right. So these were the keynote speakers back then. Interesting, okay, I'm gonna share that with you guys. Just given the recent news of Ripple providing the private ledger option for central banks and their CBDCs. RC says, yeah, don't forget casino coins building on that ledger too. I mean, I never thought about that, but is there a shot for there to be, uh, you know, I don't know, just not enough of the BTC trading pairs because of the lack of Bitcoin? That would be interesting. I mean, because people like Michael Saylor and, and I mean, even, even uh, what's his name? Mr. Wonderful himself from Shark Tank, Kevin O'Leary is allocating 3% of his portfolio to Bitcoin. Bitcoin is being bought up and I mean, Grayscale is just not stopping. Now they got this thing now kind of going on. People want quote unquote, the clean Bitcoin straight off the miner's desk, right? Now they got that going on. And, you know, we got, we got a lot of those people saying they're holding on to the Bitcoin. Kevin O'Leary holding on, um, Michael Saylor holding on uh who's that really really eccentric eccentric guy um i forget his name right now he's calling like like a 300 trillion dollar um bitcoin really really eccentric guy he's on these shows all the time i can't remember his name but i mean everybody's buying up this bitcoin now they want the quote unquote clean bitcoin Not no mm -mm. And they're all saving it. And he said he was going to give pass it on from generation. Uh, Jungle Lee says, I talked to a dev and he said an XRP L I U U isn't inherently any less a digital asset. Okay. Gotcha. I talked to a dev and he said an, an XRP L I U U isn't inherently any less a digital asset than an ETH, ERC-20 dummy token. Gotcha. So that's the thing I'm wondering, and I, I ask you guys, do you see a possibility of there being no BTC on these exchanges? If everybody's bought, buying and holding and they're talking about they're not selling it, Wesley Snipes is here. What's going on, Wesley Snipes? 
probably not the real wrestling license. <laughs> Tattooed Cobra is in the building. How are you, my friend? What's cool? What's the word? So you just got that 100K MFT slant hi-fi. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'm going to learn about these NFTs, Jungle. I got to tell you, Tattooed Cobra, we're going to learn about them. See what's up. See what, what it exactly qualifies for digital art. No, thanks. Um, I'll probably have that when I'm done. Yeah. Um, you know, I think it's going to be interesting. Yeah, Jungle says, I think there will always be a plate, a price where something is to be sold. The question is, is what that price would be. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I, you know, I do think that there is going to, you know, there's going to come a point in time, um, you know, in reference to these exchanges where they're just not able to get a hold enough of enough Bitcoin. I, I, you know, I get that. I think the reason why Celsius Network is um, having success that it's having is because they're providing an avenue for institution and exchanges um, to be able to get this crypto that they can't get on exchanges. I mean, Alice Mashinsky himself has said time and time again, there's not enough crypto. There's not enough crypto in the marketplace. That's why um, Celsius is able to have a business model that it has. And the, the institutions and its exchanges are willing to pay some prices to get it. So in a lot of ways, what Celsius is doing is taking people off of the exchanges and putting it onto their platform versus leaving it on the exchange, right? Where it's less secure and you're not getting the return on your money for your assets. That's how that business model it's massive. They just got an evaluation for three billion dollars. Three billion. Celsius Network, three billion dollar valuation. Wow. Yes, sir. Of course. Now I've uh, I've taken out um, about almost fifty to sixty five percent, and I put it in the USDT tattoo cobra planning planning for. Those numbers that I mentioned. But yep, I sure do. I love that concept. Love what RSR is doing over there, Tattoo Cobra. Tattoo Cobra says, uh, RSR in your portfolio, Siege. Yep. Crypto Kahuna, aloha, Siege, and Crypto Ohana. Aloha to you, Crypto Kahuna. Could appreciate you being here today. Interesting thought, right? Very, very, very interesting thought about the availability of the Bitcoin. And we've it've always been about the scarcity. It's always been the thing. It's always been, you know, the supply and demand thing. Of course, now there's a bigger picture to, to Bitcoins and just that. It's the tokenomics behind it. It's that sound money that we mustn't forget. Um, and the principles that come with um, uh, Bitcoin, so important to forget. Don't sleep on just the technology. Don't, don't just stay there and hang there. That has a chance and a shot to improve. We got to think about the eco, the economics, if you will, the monetary policy that comes with Bitcoin. Four sixteen crypto crypto seeds. I heard Celsius is getting ready to launch a desktop app. Any insights? Yeah, they are. The desktop app, I believe, is coming out the end of this month, the end of March. Yeah, really looking forward to seeing how that's going to work. Really looking forward to that. I probably will still do most of my stuff via the app. I think the apps are just ultimately more secure, but um, the mobiles. But yeah, they're coming out with that for for grandma and grandpa. <laughs> the web, the desktop version is coming. Eminem Jansen, what's going on? M M N M and M Jansen. Good evening. Greetings. Do do you think every country has a coin? Have a coin? Um, we saw him out of central bank digital currency. Yes, I do. Good to see you, my friend. If that's what you're talking about, send the four one subsidies. What's good with you, my friend? Yeah, yeah, nice tattoo, Cobra. Nice, nice. Now, I was there, I was already there, and again, I just uh, uh, I took profits at near all time highs, six and a half cents, something like that, and uh. 
um, put it into stuff that hadn't moved yet and kept some on the side for a monster that has XRP. Because the percentages just, you know, work better when you do the math, percentages work better. XRP number one, been waiting on the Celsius desktop app for a long time. Yeah. And they wanted to make sure that they took their time with that because they understand, you know, they're going to try to make it as secure as possible in reference to the app, right? Because the mobile app just, you know, it's just, it's just the security behind that is significant. You can get, you can get massively secure via the mobile app, especially if you've got your own personal stuff on lockdown. Um, apps can really build in some really, really nice security. So they're trying to get that desktop, you know, up to that kind of level. XRP number one, what do you mean? No XRP on Celsius now. What do you mean, my friend? Ah, super thanks. You're welcome, um, M and M Jansen. XRP Vampire, what's good, my friend? Good to see you. Crypto Seas, we are going to the moon. I always appreciate your insight. Thank you. Tattoo Cobra said, I just bought another bag of XRP. Nice. Very, very nice. That's an interesting point, Josh. Wouldn't people just trade Satoshis then, then if supply is limited? Seems like a high value proposition. Yeah. So guys, here's the other thing that I want you to think about. These were the people that attended the 2020 Ripple Swell, or keynote speakers at the 2020 Swell event. He said 2020, so I'm guessing these were the people that were there. Um, uh, Brad Garlinghouse, of course. Uh, Mahesh uh, Uttam Chandani, Chandani, Uttam Chandani from the World Bank. These were the keynote speakers. From the WF was Sheila Warren from the World Economic Forum. From the European Commission was Peter Kirstens. From the Blockchain Association was Kristen Smith. You know, just startup, just a startup fintech company out of San Francisco. <laughs> uh, EN South, uh, ENS Africa, Angela Itzikowitz. And from the ECB. Look at the recent participants at the Swell Conference. Couple that with the recent announcement of private versions of the XRPL for CBDCs. Great point, Anders L. We appreciate you, my friend. We appreciate the time and effort and energy that you put in providing uh, content for us in the crypto world, my friend. Appreciate you big time. Right. Interesting thought there. Right. There's something else that I wanted to share with you guys. And uh, XRP does 123 kind of put that thought into my mind. So tell me when all the BTC is purchased off the exchanges, what will assets be paired with to trade? There was some other thing that I wanted to share with you guys. And let me make sure I have it here. Oh, yeah. Celsius is doing another um, C found that C funding thing. Yeah, the people that got in on the first one already 25x the already 25x their investment uh, already. And that just happened not even a year ago. They're already 25x based upon this recent valuation. 25x their money already. Shout out to Matthew Lainai. FinTech regulatory roadmap as of March 21, according to the ICMA. Some interesting, interesting uh, stuff here. And the reason why I bring this up is because they got people from the ECB, from the EC, same people speaking that spoke at the Ripple Swell thing. But it's a very, very interesting roadmap. EU to issue interpretive calm on crypto assets. EC commission to integrate low or zero emissions DLT, low or zero emissions DLT. I know of one. <laughs> and in our Internet of Things, a sustainable finance taxonomy, EC to present strategy on supervisory data. This is 2021. 
EC to propose new regulatory frameworks for AI. Cool. Uh, ECB to decide whether to launch the digital Euro project. And of course, we just heard from uh, King Solomon. Shout out to my dude, King Solomon. What's good with you, bro? Hope you and the family are well. Um, found the thing from the Bank of France that uh, the ECB, or I think it was the ECB, was was looking into Ripple Slant XRP. Yep. For the C, for their for for Europe's uh, um, digital dollar project, did you guys see that from King Solomon? Let me share that real quick. Then I'm gonna get off here because again, I'm testing something, guys. So it's not that I want to hang out with you guys, but I'm trying to test a little YouTube algorithm strategy. Let's get King Solomon up here real quick. Document found XRP powers. What is up everybody, Solomon here. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic Friday. This is going to be a very quick video. I was actually doing a live stream with um, <clears throat> some of my patreons tonight or patrons tonight and stumbled across this document now this is a newer document that this directly cites ripple and xrp potentially being utilized for the platform for the digital euro and this is very big in my opinion this is from cpa australia now if we look a little bit into who cpa australia is they've been around for a while we'll go over that in a second here this is central bank digital currency CBDC is a comparative review. Again, this is going to be a quick, quick, quick video. Major cryptocurrencies and their attributes, XRP, the digital token of Ripple. Uh, you can read down through here a little bit if you want to. But the big thing that I found interesting in this, not even in this paragraph here, but just this note that they have here. And again, I'm going to make this video quick. Note. France's central bank, Bank de France, has openly discussed Ripple slash XRP as a possible platform for Europe. This isn't France, but for Europe's central digital currency. Now, we know the European Central Bank is obviously rolling out digital currency initiatives. A di and, and again, look, the note says France's central bank, Bank de France, has openly discussed Ripple and XRP as a possible platform for Europe's possible possible platform for Europe's central digital currency. Right? So we're talking, you know, Europe, ECB, right? Probably, right? Europe's central digital currency. And again, it, this is important to know because we know that Madame Lagarde, Madame Lagarde was constantly meeting with the people from Ripple constantly when she was the head of the IMF constantly meeting with them right constantly meeting with them and we kept saying well why is the freaking head of the IMF meeting with Madame Lagarde like you know it's, it's not like when they transition to another place it's not like they get, uh, you know, they get like a two weeks notice at their current position that, and, and they got to go out and seek a new gig, right? So the new gig to the ECB was well thought out, planned, and she got the word. So my thing is she's probably pretty familiar with the attributes of the XRP ledger and XRP. Yeah, it depends on the state that you're in XRP number one in terms of um, you when you say not on the app, it depends on your state. Um, so you got to look for available coins and see if it shows there. Because uh, like a place like New York, for example, with Celsius is only um, allowed BTC in Ethereum. So it kind of depends.
<laughs> uh, someone's, um, I believe this person is from Russia, but they're trying to do Google Translate for English. Welcome to the channel, my friend. <laughs> Uh, I write through Google. Hello, my dark skinned friend. I write through Google Translator on this. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. P.S. I do not understand you. <laughs> I appreciate you being here nonetheless. I will say Privyet and Kalkbela. Yeah, XRP persistent beast. I have XRP on Celsius, says, right? So it depends on the state that you're in for sure. XRP Joe. Hey family, just got off work. I'm out at home listening in. Hope everything is having a, everyone's having a fantastic day. Thanks for checking in, XLP Joe. Appreciate that. Be safe on the roads, bro. Alex D. Vogs is in the building. How are you, my friend? Good to see you. Jason Becker. How are you, my friend? Trevor, yes, sir. How are you? Second stream today, see you, you the man. Smash some likes, guys. Yeah, guys, do me a favor. Wow, we got over 120 people here in the stream. Do me a favor and smash that like button if you didn't do so on the way in. It's no worries. Just collapse the chat and go smash the like button. The goal is to get this channel to as many people as we possibly can. Why? We got people hanging out on YouTube that don't know about the digital asset space. They don't know that this is their shot to win. This is their chance to win. They don't know. They're hanging out on YouTube and they're watching old reruns of sports uh, events where there were people in the stands so they could feel some energy and excitement versus what's going on in the sports world today. They're watching videos on on, on, on on how to do this and how to do that. They're watching their favorite pet videos and they don't know about the digital asset space, completely oblivious to what, what's going on here. And this is our way of helping them, right? By smashing that like button, it's our way of getting the channel out to more people, right? Um, so that they can know about the digital asset space. Alex Vlogs, thank you so much for the super chat, my friend. I appreciate you always supporting the channel, my friend. It's good to see you. Right, so this is how we do it. Let's get that thing up to 100 likes. X XRP tonight, let's go, Siege, indeed. Alex D. Vlogs, I appreciate you being here, bro. JTJT, JT, stack that XRP. <laughs> oh, Bam Bam says that one dislike always happens, right? Yeah, yeah, I got a suspicion. I know who that is doing that. Debate on Stellar Aluminum and XRP are similar. Debate on XRP and XR, uh, and Stellar, are they similar? I don't know if they're similar. I don't know. Well, I mean, they're pretty similar. They're, def they're definitely going for different, mar uh, different marketplaces. For sure. And for me, I've always said if I have XRP, I don't really need to hold on to Stellar Lumens. Um, and this all depend on how you want to put your money into a thing. Your XRP number one says it's in Europe. So there you go. No, I haven't heard about a SEC settlement, says Simon Liu. Anyone heard about a SEC settlement? Have not heard about that. XRP Vampire says, let's show Crypto C some love if you learned something from the content present, presented here today. There you go. Thank you, XRP Vampire. Yeah, just guys, you can do that by supporting the channel for sure by just hitting that like button. Let's get this channel out. We need more of us in this space. We need more of the average Joe and the average Jane in the space. That's what we need. We really do need a new 1%, right? And you guys can help us out by doing that, by smashing the like button. Rock Nitty is here. Peace. What's good with you, Rock Nitty? Yes, indeed. Rock Nitty, I got to buy more XRP as soon as possible, but I got my coins in Celsius and earning in sell. You're earning in sell? You must be in Europe or something, but but I may earn in kind moving forward. Yeah, and that's another great, exciting thing. That's going to be the summer of uh, 2021. Man, you're going to be able to earn in whatever you want to earn in. If you got some Bitcoin, you want to earn in XRP, you can earn in XRP. Dane Brown, I appreciate that. My friend says, like and subscribe, sir. Well, thank you, Dane. Welcome to the channel, my friend. I appreciate you being here. If you own, if you got your XRP on there and you want to earn and sell, uh, you can earn and sell or other digital assets, right? Maybe not sell, but 
but that's what they're doing. What they're basically putting together is any digital asset that the platform supports, you can earn in that asset. If you have stable coins, you got 10,000 in stable coin. You don't want to earn stable coins. You want to earn BTC. Man, I'm excited about that. You got some, you got some cash, you got your, you got some of your winnings on stable coins and you can earn it in BTC. You can earn your rewards in BTC. My thing is, is so if you're earning 10 and a half percent on the stable coin and you say, I want to opt to earn BTC as my reward, are you getting 10 and a half percent in BTC? I'm thinking so. Oh, so far I can only earn and sell, only earn and sell. I think you all, hmm, I think Rock, you, all, you you have any option, you just have to change it. They start you out in sell in, in, the, in the European region. Like it defaults, it defaults to sell, but you can earn in kind. You just gotta click a button on the app. But it defaults initially, I believe, my friend. And I only say this because I'm an ambassador for the platform. But I believe that is the word that I got from Alex and um, Zach. That they changed it. Now it defaults to earning and sell. So like as soon as you default, you um, download the app. As soon as you download the app, if you're in Europe, it defaults to earning and sell. And if you want to earn in kind, you got to click a button, tab down or something, and then change that up, my friend. Yeah, try that. Try that. But I, I'd love, I'd be, I'd love to be in your position, Rock Nitty, to be able to earn and sell. I tell you that right now. <laughs> Algo is a nice earner on Coinbase. Hmm. Jay McDean. Hmm. Have you tried the Exodus Wallet, my friend, for earning Algo? Coinbase tends to be on the rip you off front more so than looking out for people who put their asses on the platform. Colin Hughes says, hi from the UKC. Hello, Colin, how are you? All right, guys, so listen, I just wanted to share with you guys. I get to get up here again. I'm testing something out with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much. If you didn't smash that like on the way in, do me a favor, consider smashing that like button on the way out. So BTC, think about it. Will it be enough BTC to get to get the trading done in trading pairs. The XRP ledger, don't just think of it as payments and cross-border payments. Proposal for um, NFTs on the XRP ledger is in the works. It is in the works. NFTs on the XRP ledger. Absolutely, absolutely massive news. Hoddle strong. Hoddle, 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 hoddle strong. And uh, never forget this, guys, that old money doesn't want you to win. See, I struggle with the idea of that. If, if I need to sell luminous, if I hold XRP, can you please elaborate? Well, it's not really a need. It's just um, bam, bam. And thank you so much for supporting the channel. For me, in the crypto seizures home, I'm certainly not telling you what you do with your money, my friend. Um, for me, I early on, I decided if I owned XRP, in terms of the asset and what it's going to do that I didn't need to own Stellar, right? Um, and in other words, uh, perhaps they're in the same lane and I would rather I would rather own VeChain that is a, in its own lane. That was just my thinking. Um, it, it, all the altcoins are gonna do well, right? And Stellar Lumen is building a marketplace and doing some things as well, right? So it certainly would not hurt, you know, it, in my opinion, it wouldn't hurt to own any Stellar. I just felt like if I have uh, some cash and I'm, I've already got XRP, I'd rather put that cash in a non can, I don't want to say non competing, but it just in a different space. That's, that's all we did. We just wanted to go on a different space. So it's not to say that XRP is better than Stellar Lumens or Stellar Lumens better XRP. That's not what I'm saying. I just said for me, for my investing mindset and portfolio, I want it to be in a different space, right? Uh, so, I got XRP kind of in this payments and cross better payments and work with central bank digital currencies. I got that. So um, in a lot of places, Stellar Lumis is kind of doing that same thing. So they're in the kind of in the same space. I wanted to 
put more dollars into an asset that may not even be as great as Stellar Lumens, but it's in a different space. It's in its own lane. For example, VeChain. For example, VeChain, right? It's in its own space and lane doing its own kind of thing. And so I don't, I wouldn't say one is better than Stellar is better than VeChain or VeChain is better than, better than Stellar Lumens. I wouldn't say that. But Stellar Lum, um, but VeChain is in its own space, kind of doing its own thing, right? Or perhaps not the competition that XRP and Stellar Lumen has amongst each other, if you will, in the same space. Although I don't think they're competing with each other. Hope that makes sense to you, my friend. Thank you so much for supporting the channel as always. All right, guys, never ever forget this. Old money doesn't want you to win, but that's okay though, because you and I are already winning. Thank you so much for hanging out on the Sunday, guys. Uh, and I'll talk to you soon. See you guys.